Korean events started probably when I was in school here, actually, when I discovered that art can heal and, and save lives because it, it's changed my life. And uh, I had a brain injury when I came to the school, and I had really bad anxieties and depression. And uh, that kind of just floated away when I get lost in my art and started doing ceramic sculpture. And really when I started getting outside of the box and doing art about war and stuff that I couldn't normally tell people, and it was a way for me to tell people without telling them anymore because I just put it into a piece, stepped away from it, and everyone came in and just looked at it. And to me, that was a huge sense of relief, just knowing that they knew my story. And then, so the whole concept is, you know, here, here I am, always trying to painting and just working with your hands in general is like a, a zen almost. You can just get lost in it, and you don't have the thousand mile mind going on. For me, being Native American, you know, you grew up with symbols, and so I use like a lot of uh, ancient symbols from my tribe that I've put into contemporary um, meaning. It's kind of hard to talk about certain things sometimes, the emotion that gets wrapped up in it, but with art, it just takes it to a different level where it's not as negative, but now it's more in a positive light. I talked to a, cute, a couple people here in Chicago and they have no idea what 22 means. I have 22 bullets and it's 22 veterans that kill themselves every day. And like people who don't have like a direct impact of that, like they don't have a military friend or family member, they have no idea about that. None. And I really want that one. That one's my like centerpiece because it's a huge issue in our world because every single one of us has lost a buddy through their combat. Most of us lost more to suicide than that. I find myself going into the zone and it's very meditative. I like to do meditation and um, Working in the clay, I all of a sudden I realized I didn't go to lunch hour, and I didn't care. <laughs> and I just kept working with the clay, and not even knowing what it is you're, you know, not, not really having a concept in mind. And that's, and it's very um, therapeutic. <laughs> 